All right, guys, we are back with another episode of Q. We have episode six here of season three up and ready to go. Uh, yeah, we're just, you know, continuing on with Shira Torizawa and Karasuno. Same thing that's been going on for the last few episodes. So, so let's just hop right into it and see what happens. Let's go. Suga, what the? Damn. Look at this dude! Look at these dudes! Bro, they look so young! <laughs> Damn, they like, they what, they grew in this last little bit. Especially Asahi. <laughs> why, why does Asahi look so like, adorable? <laughs> in like a year, he's gonna be like, a goateed adult. Like, I'm really confused. All of a sudden, we're getting some, <laughs> some like, uh, Suga, Asahi, and Daichi backstory. But Coach Ukai isn't anywhere to be seen? I, or did they never actually work with Coach Ukai? Am I, am I just remembering wrong? Maybe they never worked with him because he was retired, right? No, they did, though. They did get to work with him. Because Anoshita's backstory included Coach Ukai. I don't know. I should shut up and just watch. I'm sure it's going to explain it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's just there wasn't anybody driving them on. They were, oh, they felt like rooted. They couldn't move. Yeah, they they wanted bigger things, which is fair. Yeah, boys. That's right. You want greatness, you gotta strive for it. Better than before. Yeah, yeah, because you got three hard workers behind you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Lost. Mm. Oh. Yeah, jeez, look at them. It's like shit. It can only, like, you know, spirit can only bring you so far. I respect them for, you know, they, they got caught up with the vibe that um, Daichi and the other two were creating. Like, they, they actually felt like they cared about it. They got excited. So that's a step up from what they've been doing, which is just kind of, you know, which is just kind of like coasting. They, they've just been coasting. They've just been doing the bare minimum to be a volleyball club. <laughs> but, of course, like, you know, when Asahi, Suga, and Daichi are the only ones who are actually, like, practicing their skills more, they're putting actual effort into it. And they're not even playing. Like, <laughs> they weren't even on the court for that match, I don't think. So, yeah, yeah, it's like, I, I get it that it's sad for the third years, but... You know, you kind of bring it on yourselves, too. Mm. I have to go now. Oh, I wonder I wonder if that coach is going to show up to this court. Just make an appearance at the end of it. <laughs> too fast to even comprehend. You can't keep up with this man. <laughs> True. True. Well, the amount of biking that show does. What else you expect? <laughs> even his friend, even his friend, he's just like, what the fuck did you just say to him? <gasps> this, this son of a bitch! <laughs> Why didn't he invite me? <laughs> Get wrecked. Right. 
Man, man, Suki just got to keep flexing. God, I love that character. God, I love him. It's just like he goes from like the underdog to just showing everybody up. And it feels so damn good. <laughs> I don't even care that he's kind of that he's like going after show a little bit. He's just <laughs> he says he's not competing, but you know, he is. He's competing with show. He just keeps doing stuff. That it's like, oh, you weren't expecting this, were you? And it's like, no, no, I wasn't. <laughs> Good job. I want to know you're stupid at it. Everybody's smart. Right. They're realistic. They're realistic. It's like, you can't be perfect on the court. Gonna have some slip ups. There's never been, uh, I don't think there's ever been a volleyball game. Well, I shouldn't say that, but a professional volleyball game between like, you know, two amazing teams. Uh, where, like, one team just never got any points. Like, it, there's always slip-ups. There's always holes, like they say. But, you know, you just got to work on it. Try to fix those holes, patch them up. New ones will be created, but got to hope less than the enemy team, I guess. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Adam boy, Suki! Lucky? You gonna say lucky? Well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, he has been, like, overworking himself a lot. And I like that even Suki can notice. He, he's looking at him like, man, you good? You good? Are you sure? Oh, a Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi special. Oh, still got him. Get wrecked, pinch server. Oh, oh, that gave me, that gave me shivers. Another part of the court. Yeah, yeah, like that. True. If if the bloggers are up in the air, right at the net, just you know, go, go behind them. <laughs> See, and that's kind of tricky because that means that Ushijima can still maintain some of his stamina. He doesn't. He's not always going to go for a spike. Tendo really got to <laughs> really got to rub every little thing in. Or <laughs> oh, come on. Let's do in for a little bit. I, I think they should let Kageyama rest, though, right? Like, I get that he's 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 very stubborn and he wants to keep pushing himself. But what what's it going to hurt? Suga is talented. Suga is good. So why can't they just throw him in for, like... A round or two, I don't know. Well, I, I guess because you know we are at a deuce, we really don't want to mess up anything on this this bit. Ah, shit! Ah, oh, damn! He looks so mean too. Ushijima, can you smile for once? Can you just smile? Can you be like, "All right, let's go"? You no, know, he's gotta be like, It's all over. Yeah, no. We ain't letting that happen. We're only on episode six. We got four more episodes to go. Oh. Damn. Daichi looking extra pissed right now, man. <laughs> I, I don't know how else to explain it. It's just he looks mad. He looks different. <laughs> man, man's even got the floor cracking behind him. Oh, damn. No, no, yeah. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, that music, too. Damn demon serve. Man's like, God damn, that hurt. Bro, this music is epic. Holy shit. Yo, boys. You can't fail at a soundtrack like this. Not giving him a chance. Oh, shit. No match point for you, bitch. Yo, what's this, what's this man doing? He looks like he's crying.
<laughs> They're like, damn, damn, that was loud. <laughs> Who needs a cheer squad when you got that guy? I love it, though, because finally he's like, damn, this team is something special. Like, it, it took him long enough. How much, how much cool shit has happened this match to make him, like, to prove to him that we've, we're good. Like, I get that when he came to the match of, that we just saw in the flashback when, like, Daichi, Asahi, and Suga were all new. They weren't even on the court. I get why he'd be disappointed because, what, they, they lost in the second round? The second match? I, I can't remember. Yeah, of course he's going to be disappointed if, if he's a hardcore fanboy of uh, Karasuno. But he should have known, like, as soon as they made it to the Nationals, he should have been like, okay, there's something special going on here. Like, then we had other shit. We had stuff with, like, all the stuff with Suki. Like, that that didn't convince you that they got some good players, some good, like, smart players. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. You finally made it. Welcome to the club. <laughs> and he even he even got the cheer squad back in action. He's like, right, the cheer squad, the coach or the principal, he's like, you know what? We can't let just this one dude be more enthusiastic than our whole squad. Come on, guys. Beautiful form. Oh, is it? Uh, it is. It is. He's not wrong. Hey. <laughs> Get wrecked. Short. Oh, what's he going to do? You know Sho ain't just going to let it slide. So the ball were... Oh. <laughs> uh, that was dope. He was so slick with it, too. He's like... Eh. That's right. That's right. You best go down. Is that is that set point? Let's go. Let's go. Kageyama. Oh, is he like dead? <laughs> I love how Show is even like dancing around him. Was he was he expecting a compliment? He was like, "Hey, Kageyama, you seen it, didn't you? Come on, come on, you messed up. I saved me. You gotta say something." <laughs> Kageyama's like, "Damn, I'm sick of this kid." <laughs> mm. One more set. It's so weird because like. It does not feel like it's been, what, four sets? Four sets already. They've actually been moving through them quick. I'm so used to the other matches that we've played, which are like, I don't know, one set is usually spaced out to like two episodes. Usually as soon as one ends, the episode ends, and then the next episode starts the new set. But they've been doing it differently this season where like they end a set in the middle of the episode and then they start it again. So it, it, it feels like it's been going by like so quick. Like, I feel like we haven't even finished, like, I don't know, two sets yet. <laughs> Just the way they're spacing it out. I'm not saying it's a bad thing because it's good because we're, it's going by fast. And that's good. It keeps our attention quick and they're not dragging it on. But yeah, it's just like, wow, there's one set. And it's, yeah, it's, it's like even, like, you know, whoever wins this set. Wins the big thing. Wins the thing. I'm sure this last set is going to be dragged out for like, what, three episodes? Because we still have up, up until episode 10. I'm sure they're going to like make the match stay like until episode 9, right? At least. I wouldn't be surprised if they even bring it into episode 10. Because, you know, what else are they going to do? They're, I figure episode 10 will be like a winning episode. Like they're, they're, they're having fun or whatever. Or, you know, maybe they lose and they're crying the whole time. I, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm not really sure how Kageyama is going to fare out during this set because he's already, like, tired. I get that they're saying he's going to keep pushing and he's not going to let anything, like, stop him. Uh, but everyone has their limit, right? He, he's, he's tired. I'd be tired. I'd have been dead two sets ago. 
I don't know how if they're gonna let him, you know, do the whole set on his own. I kind of hope they bring Suga in to work with it a bit. It might, you know, that might be nice because, you know, we just got that backstory with like Suga, Asahi, and Daichi. It would be nice if they could finish this match with Suga, Asahi, and Daichi all playing. They don't need to. It's just because I think they more or less showed that backstory just to show how far the team has grown and to add on to the 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 old man in the in the stands like to show his perspective too of how he's seen the team in such bad well not bad i don't want to say bad that sounds really mean in such like a weaker well that's also that's also mean but i'm just gonna stick with it in a in a weaker position they weren't near as good they didn't have near as much you know practice skill behind their backs so I'm that's probably what the backstory was also for was just so that we really appreciate what that guy says and how he's finally changed his mind. But still, it would just be nice now knowing that that's the backstory. Suga being able to be there when they win this really big game. And speaking of that old guy, the cheering guy, I really, really like that moment because like finally finally he's not just being sour <laughs> like, he's he's been improving this whole match because he's actually been seeing like it's been in his head he's been thinking like oh okay they're actually like good like he's been getting more and more positive as the game goes on it's just he was he he was getting on my nerves <laughs> sometimes he was like he was being so negative about the team when it first started. He was chirping Suki. He's like, what, what, what's this What's this normal dude doing up here? What, what's he doing? What, what's so special about him? And he knows. He's like, okay, I won't question that guy anymore. <laughs> I won't question the team anymore. Because he he finally, finally, he's, he has a team that he can be proud to cheer for. I actually do respect him because, what, he's been coming to these games for, like, years and he's always been like Karasuno's fan. He hasn't switched it up just because they were in bad shape. He was actually like a loyal fan just because he was, you know, chirping. It, it means he's passionate, right? It doesn't mean I agree with his chirping. It's just I do respect that he was so passionate and he stuck with the same team for years and years, even when they went through a rough patch. He, he had faith that they would, you know, be better again, right? Even if he didn't show it. He was, he would have been secretly like hoping that they did, that they'd have a moment. And, you know, to his surprise, this time they did. Even if they don't win, I think he's going to be happy. He's like, yeah, that was a good game. That was finally a good match with Karasuna. And then he even just, he pumped everybody up. He even, he even pulled a psych out on us. He's like, yeah, no, they're nothing. They're nothing. Nothing but good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else is there? Uh, Suki, you know, he's he's still having he's still having some good some good like moments in here. Surprisingly, I kind of thought after Suki's like episode four moment, he would chill. He would chill out. He'd take you know he'd go on the back burner a little bit. He'd still be doing work, but they wouldn't show him off as much. But no, he's he's still been like putting in the work these past two episodes because he did he's he's been doing his blocks. He even did that spike. Where he like timed the guy and like, you know, he waited for the man to go down and then he spiked it and it's like, ooh, ooh, Suki, Suki, damn. That, that's all that's going through my head every time he does something awesome. It's just like, hey, I am surprised though that Daichi didn't have like too many plays, right? With that backstory that started off the episode. I don't know if, did, did Daichi like touch the ball more than like once? I don't know. I can't. I genuinely. Maybe that's that's probably my fault. Maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention to him. Uh, they didn't make any spectacle out of it. I don't think. So um, my bad if I'm just not remembering. But it does seem like you know they had the backstory with Daichi Asahi Suga, and none of them really got like a big moment, which is okay. It's just that, that wasn't really the point. Like I just said, it, there was other reasons for that backstory, which worked very well um just yeah i was surprised maybe in the future because we're not gonna forget about that right it's just gonna you know it's still gonna be building up and we're gonna 
remember. And then Daichi's gonna do something awesome. And then we're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, Daichi, let's go. And yeah. <laughs> I did want to talk about like um Ushijima, his like stamina though. Because it, like there's only one set left. Is this man even gonna get tired? Like, is he gonna chill out once during this whole game? <laughs> Because he, he was like working up a sweat. He was breathing heavy. I don't know if that means he's actually like close to his limit or if, you know, they're just, they're just bullshit. They're just, they're just like, yeah, he's been playing for a while. Make him look tired, but he's still going to be good for a bit. It's just, it'd be nice. Maybe, maybe that's how they'll win the game. He'll be lacking a bit because he'll be working himself so hard trying to win the thing that whatever the last point is, it'll slip right past him because he's not in top shape. Because Kageyama, he's feeling it. He's feeling it right now. He's tired. Sho, I think, maybe is also feeling it a bit. He was working up a sweat, too, I saw. I I don't know. Um, I don't know if stamina is going to play a big role in this. They do keep bringing it up. Just, you know, Ushijima, if he doesn't get tired, like, he's he's gone. He's, he seems like a freaking robot, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's been five sets. They're already playing longer than most typical games. You'd think that by now, Ushijima would have slowed down a bit, which I guess you could argue he has with, like I said um, during the episode, when he, instead of spiking, he just flung it, like, over them. That didn't take as much power, right? So maybe he's just kind of easing himself into it a bit. But still, uh, I hope he kind of, something happens with that, because they keep bringing it up, and... I feel like, you know, he should get tired, right? <laughs> he is, above all else, he's a high school student. If he was like, I don't know, in his 20s, had more training type deal, I'd be like, okay, he's he's more hardcore. But high school students, like, you know, it's not like they're spending like eight hours in the gym training, right? <laughs> it, well, maybe, I don't know. Look at this, look at this dude. Look at Ushijima. Man doesn't look like he's playing. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, anyway, though, yeah, that was, that was a good episode, though. I really, like, the whole, um, flashback at the beginning kind of surprised me. Not in a bad way. It was good. I really appreciate seeing kind of the start of the boys, of the team, that as we know it. Yeah, I'm, I'm still confused, though, because what the heck happened with Coach Ukai? Because he wasn't there when Daichi and them started. But then I could have sworn that he was there when Enoshita was there. Did he come back? I think so. Wasn't that a thing as he came back and then, what, did he have like a, a heart attack or something? I don't know. I can't remember exactly. I'll have to look it up. Because um, Enoshita, like he quit because of Coach Ukai being hard on him. And then he came back and Ukai was gone. So, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. You guys are probably pissed that I can't remember, but but yeah, sorry. It's just, yeah. It was such a, like, I feel like the last time they would have explained it was like season two with Anoshita and probably didn't even go into depth about it. So I don't know. Um, yeah, though, great episode. Really enjoyed it. Uh, I've made this video pretty long, so I think I'm going to stop it there. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel to stay updated. Uh, I do have a Patreon link down below. Uh, you can support me. It gives you early access to the videos. Yeah, comment your thoughts, whatever you want to say. Just no spoilers, because that's a dick move. And yeah, that's going to be it for me. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll talk to you all later. Peace.